Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney, Google Certified Innovator and Trainer. This video is about a small little problem with digital breakouts and the new Google Sites. It's not a deal breaker, it's not a big deal, and I'll show you how to get around it. So first of all, let's talk about what the problem is. So let's pretend this is a, a real digital breakout, even though it actually technically is. It's my digital breakout template, I'll put the link below. And let's say I get the first lock correct, and in this case, I actually here, obviously the hint makes it obvious. So I've made progress. So now I want to go to another part of the digital breakout to see if I can learn information to uh, figure out these locks. So I click on the first link in the navigation at the top of the Google site. And look what happens. I get this message. It won't pop it up into a new tab. And for an, a website, that's what you want. But for a digital breakout, you want it to go into a new tab so that here we save our progress and we can come back to it. So I had this problem with a breakout I made about the New Deal. And I had three pages that were inside my site linked here. But again, if you made some progress and you figured out this code and then you clicked up here and you clicked one of those links, you would get that same message. So here's how I solved it. Notice this image right here. If I click on FDR or Francis Perkins or this other person who I'm not entirely certain who he is, if you notice, I get a different kind of hover link on each one. So I'll, I'll click on Francis Perkins real quick, and I get this page about Francis Perkins. And here I learn a little bit about her. And then whatever I discern from this, I can go back here, and it's, and it's here in a different tab, and I can go and type in a code. So how did I do that? Let me show you a couple things. First of all, if I go to edit my site, and again, I get that same message. So hold on, let me just delete this real quick. Now I don't think I'll get the message. Yo, I still get it, but I will click leave. If I go to pages, and then if you notice there is that little slash there on the three dot menu, you can show in navigation, or in this case here, I'll click show. That's what it would typically look like. And then I will hit hide and we are good to go. Of course, you have to hit publish to make any of those changes take effect. Now, how on earth did I make this happen? That is what's called hotspots in Google Drawings. I will link to a video that shows you how to do that. And you take it from there. And that way, it opens up in a new tab. With that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching.